Last week we talked about how the lats and the glutes tie in and connect together. Where here we're going to actually show it in an exercise. So one of the common glute activation exercises we'll see is a glute bridge. So on our back we do a glute bridge. The mistake people will make is when they bridge up, they really have this overextension, they really have to finish with their glutes, and they actually use their back and their ribs more than their glutes. So they don't come down. The way we're going to fix that is with the ultimate sandbag, and we're going to combine a glute bridge with an ultimate sandbag pullover. So Nate's going to have the bag over his chest, he's going to set, so he pulls the handles apart and turn on his lats, he's going to drive through his heels, he's going to lift his butt as the bag goes overhead. And notice how he's really finished with his hips and his ribs are in good position. He's going to come down as he pulls it back over, show one more start to finish. Tension on the bag, ribs in good position, all coming from the glutes and the lats without any compensation to the low back or the ribs. Here we're going to take it one step further. We're going to look at the side plank or the lateral plank. Great exercise when done correctly for the oblique side, low back, a lot of the rehab stuff. Two main problems we'll see with the traditional side plank. One is when people come up in the side plank, they really have their hips back here. And they're kind of hanging on their hip flexors. So they're not quite strong enough to get their hips extended. Um, fix your hips one second from the Where that's really what we're looking for. And the second compensation we'll see is when people have a kind of lazy, saggy shoulder, which we probably see all the time, partially because it's a hard exercise, uh, and partially because they don't really know how to do it correctly. So the correction we're going to use there, tying in the lat and the glute, where last we look at the X pattern that we have in the upper body and the lower body, we're going to tie it up with the side punch. It's going to hop in the minivan. So last week we looked at how um, the right shoulder and the left hip and the left shoulder and the right hip are connected. Same principle here. So he's going to take the ultimate sandbag and he's going to come up with the side plank. He's going to turn on the glute, turn on the upper body, and he's going to hold his position. So now we have his left hip and his right shoulder stabilizing together because the ground and the minivan and his left shoulder and his right uh, knee are connected as well to give him that stability in that cross body pattern and fix the shoulder correction and fix that saggy hip we typically find in a side plank. Again, uh, we're using low, but we're actually assisting in making the pattern stronger with the tools we're using. And more, when we look at gait patterns and walking, uh, ideally in marching, we want to look for that cross body pattern. So Nate's going to march in place. So just like when we walk, we want the opposite arm and leg to meet each other because our body works in an X pattern. The left shoulder and the right hip are connected and the right shoulder and the left hip are connected. And if they're not, we see a lot of gait pattern deficiencies, inefficiencies uh, in movement and a lot of things. So we work on marching, but then a way we can load it so that we have the Latin glute connected is with the DDRT Aries sled. Now, Nate's going to show you a core engaged marching variation where he has hands out in front, elbows are locked, the core is engaged, and he's going to go into that same marching pattern where he's really driving through the ball of the foot, marching up with the lats and core engaged. If you relax, that would be the level one progression, and the level two progression to make it a little harder now is to come in overhead. Overhead is going to increase the demand on the core, the flexing of the spine, and the whole chain in general, really demanding that lat to stabilize to help the glute while he's marching.